What fictional character do you hate with every fiber of your being? Bakugo from My Hero Academia, he has such a superiority complex, sometimes I just just want to eat him. Samsung Sam. Grandpa Joe. Slash R slash Grandpa OA8. Dolores Sumbridge. Skylar White, Jared Antana, Scott Templeton to name a few. Skylar was such a scumbag. Harry fucking Potter. Peggy Hill. Kathy Earnshaw, vomiting face. What a selfish, dramatic manipulative bitch. Nymphadora Tonks, books say miss you. I hate women who are so self-absorbed that they can't accept no for an answer. These women are so attached to their own desires and self-pity that they become a lovesick when turned down. They don't see or acknowledge another's wants or needs, even of those that they profess to love. Despite this, they easily get sympathy from everyone around them, and then make their love interests life absolute hell for simply asserting their boundaries. This goes on until the poor blokes either become a recluse or cave under guilt and social pressure. Colin. Draco Malfoy is a real piece of work. Pierre Kuyatogami. He's an ass to everyone around him and just straight up rude whenever possible. The obvious answer is Grandpa Joe, but I also hold a special hatred for Jafar from Aladdin. He was willing to kill to become Sultan, and even after having the power he tried to force Jasmine, most likely under 18, to marry him, an obvious old man. Nikki from Big Love. Gabby. Mr. Murdstone from David Copperfield. I'd like to kill that fucker. Frollo from Notre Dame. Skylar White. She became the reason why thousands of innocent people will never able to get the iconic blue crystals at reasonable rates. They have to settle down for low equality, disappointed face, disappointed face. Morn from Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. Star Trek is meant to be an assembly show, but that guy just hogs the limelight and never shuts up. Ollie from Game of Thrones. Peppa Pig. Obvious answer. Grandpa Joe. 1. There is the obvious answer that he basically let his daughter slave off for 20 years before revealing he could walk, just to visit some chocolate factory. In addition to that, he constantly smoked tobacco, and back in Roald Dahl's days, tobacco was expensive. So basically, he forced slash guilt tripped his own daughter into spending her hard earned money to buy tobacco for him whilst the other grandparents had to live off cabbage soup and no luxuries. 2. Let's not forget that he was the one that convinced Charlie to take the gobstopper. He was so greedy, he didn't even stop to think that Charlie was genuinely interested in WW and his chocolate factory. Did GJ care? No he didn't. All he cares about is exploiting enough money off the backs of his laboring family to purchase some of that good tobacco for his own use. Fuck GJ, he didn't even have an ounce of care in his heart for Charlie. 3. And at the end of the story, did GJ apologize to WW? No. It was all Charlie. Bless Charlie's soul, he didn't deserve GJ. Fuck GJ, he was fine with just taking the gobstop to Slugworth. Fuck GJ. 4. I actually find it kind of funny that GJ was portrayed as a hero here. Like oh look, it's GJ and Charlie, the heroes of the story. But no. Charlie was the only hero in the story. In fact, GJ is the true villain, but Charlie overcame him. I have no idea why the author of the story decided to portray GJ as part of the heroes. Which brings me to my last point. GJ is able to manipulate the opinions of others. This would explain how his daughter still loves him although all he did was jack shit all these years. This would explain why Charlie still loves him although he actively prevented Charlie from doing what he loved. He even manipulated the readers into thinking that he is good this power is manipulation and it is evil. Thus, GJ is evil. The Galavan and Dolores Umbridge. Rachel Berry from Glee. There is no other character more narcissistic, self-absorbed, entitled and whiny that has ever graced our TV screens. Aquamarine from Steven Universe. 
Eric Sparrow, the character from Tony Hawk Underground who is your best friend until he steals your skate footage to enter a skate championship. Screw that guy. That rapist in Shawshank Redemption. Jeffrey. Ponkerel. R slash fuck Ponkerel. Jane from Twilight, she literally just makes me wish Bella was turned in New Moon so she could have killed her. Brian Jeremy in GTA for The Lost and Damned, Rocco Pelosi in Ballad of Gay Tony, and Roman's taxi cab driver from the base game. I say this because I remembered who I shot until my ammo ran out. Steve Haynes in GTA 5. GTA is good at making hateable characters in general. Sheldon from my life as a teenage robot. Fuck that creepy stalker. Tywin from DS9. Walk with the Prophets, my child. Bill Hawks from Professor Layton and the Lost Future. Fuck that guy. The guy from Lolita. All of the Orc captains in Middle Earth, Shadow of War. Always fucking running off before I can finish them. Ramsey Bolton. Kai Wynn. God. Wanker. Oh my god Grandpa Joe. What a horrible selfish man. Definitely a capitalist. Probably a right winger. Oppressing women and children so he could lay in bed. I bet he was a racist too. Delphine goddamn bitch ordering me around like some dumb slave. Oh you want me to kill Pa just so I could join your dead club which has you and a homeless weirdo as the only members. Even the vampire hunting leader had more humanity than you. Also, that cloud district asshole, you don't live there either you shithead. At least I own a house in the city I live in. Also, Carol Danvers she's just a shitty character that's treated as if she's God's gift to the world. I mean you had no problem beating up innocents for your sake of justice and believed some shithead who claimed to see the future. Who gives a shit if you're the strongest character when you're such a Karen the first rather see you die. Calvin Candy. What a disgusting creep. Greg Heffley greater than Slash. Squilliam. Fuck him man. We all can't be ballers, you don't need to be that guy about it. Percy from the Green Mile. Complete twat. Since Kalu, the obvious answer, has been mentioned already, I'll add Sid the Science Kid. So annoying. Percy from the Green Mile. Whiny little bitch boy. Percy Wetmore from the Green Mile. Fuck that slimy little fuck. Freaking Charlotte from H2O just add water. How has nobody said Joffrey Baratheon yet? Jet Reno from Star Trek Discovery. Fuck I hate that character slash actor slash alleged comedian. Gail Hawthorne. Couldn't stand him in the books, and though Liam Hemsworth portrayed him excellently in the movies, I hated him even more in those. Caillou and Kelly from The Office. Billy Butcher from The Boys. Backslash insert anyone who hurt children in fiction backslash. And hashtag X200B. Edit, you guys named characters I never even heard of. Colin. Ross Geller from Friends. Look, I'm sure David Schwimmer is a wonderful guy but god did Ross suck. I shipped Joey and Rachel for so long only to get slapped in the face hard by the oh so perfect Ross and Rachel. Still loved Friends though and he does have some good bits. Mato Shinji. Fuck that guy. I wish he'd died a more gruesome death than anything he experienced in any media he's been in. Mineta from My Hero Academia. All of those annoying idiots from South Park, goddamn my flatmate loves that show. Dane Vogel from SR2. To this day, I still wanna 12 gauge his brains out. Ponyhead, if you know you know. Dolores Umbridge from the Harry Potter books. Scar from The Lion King. The number of death threats I gave during that movie is unreal. Micah Bell. He is the exact opposite of what I like in a person. He is a frat. Gail from Bob's Burgers. I get that the whole point is that she's insufferable, I just think she should be euthanized. Complete waste of a human being. Whatever the pink one is called from Has Been Hotel. Sophia Lamb from Bioshock 2. Not only is she generally awful, she reminds me of a lot of my actual abusers. And while we're at it, let's just throw Molegbal in from Tess. 
I'll never forgive him for what he did to Sarana. The preacher dude from chaos walking. I'm glad he burned toe. Lisa from the room. That evil bitch betrayed Johnny.